Hey my Aries, welcome to Swift Intuition. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. Also, if you're looking for a personal reading, all the information will be in the description below. Also, if you're interested in following me on Instagram and Snap. Okay, um, Aries, let's get into this energy. <laughs> Spirit, angels of the Most High, give us messages of love and light for our beautiful Aries. Give us messages of love and light. Okay, Aries, what we have is the King of Swords, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles speaks of, like, um, it's... It's like this abundant energy. This is like, it, to me right now, Aries, if you are the man, it's like you're, you're attracting someone that is very dependent and self-sufficient. And it's like in the past, you could have cut this person off, but I feel like you're looking back on that situation as if you want to pursue it. You feel that this person will be a beautiful addition to you. And not just that, but this person could, or this thing could add to what you're building and not take from. This person seems very stable. We have the Wheel of Fortune. With the Wheel of Fortune, that means there's something big, there's something about to take place, Aries. Um like it's like a new beginning it's a transforming like if a, one situation to the next level or or it's like starting a new cycle so you're about to begin a new cycle aries i feel like recently you've ended a cycle but now there's something that you want to start a, a new you want to start something anew with it could have been a, a, a entanglement in the past <laughs> but something new is coming in and we have I feel like because this card fell right under the king of swords I feel like you want you want balance with the temperance coming out and it's by the will of fortune it's like whatever this drastic change that is about to take place Aries it's going to balance out your situation and whatever this nine, this nine of pinnacle is, if this is somebody that you're interested in, that is, um, that is like probably like single, probably uh, self-made, somebody that is uh, dependent on their own, very uh, attractive, uh, continually changing, and bring like everything around it she makes or this something makes everything around it just beautiful they probably have like a really beautiful heart the soul or something but they have something to do with this will of fortune and whatever the situation is if it wasn't balanced with this temperance here i feel like it's going to be balanced then we have the emperor card that came out and i feel like in the past because how this emperor is looking in in the past i feel like you let your ego uh cut off whatever or whoever this person is or your person is maybe in the past like you let your ego uh prevent you from moving forward with this person but now something is coming about that is about to uh kind of like shake up the dynamic messages of love and life are good for areas Messages of love and light. Messages of love and, love and light. We have the hangman. It's like right now, you don't know how to move. It's like you don't know how to move forward in this situation. Because you show this person this... Um, it, it's like you could have cut this person off. Uh, could have been like a petty dispute could have been anything if this person is dependent she probably or he probably says something that uh triggered your ego and you know and you were just like no i don't want to deal with this you know because if you're dealing with somebody that's been taking care of themselves you know they pretty much feel they can do and say whatever they want to and from this emperor state it's like no i want people to do what i say how i want to 
<laughs> I don't have to deal with this. I got minions. <laughs> Look at you. And with the hangman, it's like you're in this you're in this room where you're getting enlightened on this new beginning, Aries. It's like you're being enlightened on this individual where at first you were operating in one type of energy. I feel like now it's like your 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 understanding of the situation is starting to blossom towards whoever this individual is and it's right and the hangman speaks of being enlightened being enlightened on what you did uh how you were operating in your lower self or in your shadow to now to how to move forward in this will of fortune this 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 absolutely 360 change i feel like this is like life changing and then we have the moon the reason why you're under indecisive at this time because you don't know how it's going to turn out. I feel like this is something rare even for you to do. This can be somebody that was is rare for you to even consider as being with. Like maybe um maybe in your past like you, you like you dated a certain a different type, you know, people who were dependent on you, dependent on you being stable and now dealing with this person who has uh who is used to taking care of themselves and not that energy, not that needy energy or wanting something from you. I feel like it pushes it pushes you back in this disarray or dis disbelief in some type of way but we do have the eight of wands aries the eight of wands I mean this is travel this is communication this is um fast movement <laughs> the wands always speak of fast movement but this right here we have ones that are flying in air over land over cattle so you and your person could be at a distance aries that you're thinking about uh this this dependent self-sufficient person and it's like this information that's coming or you traveling towards them I feel like Aries, either you're going to be traveling towards them or it could be they, you, or some communication. You're going to be calling or communicating via text message or something, telephone. And uh, and I feel like this energy has you stuck because you don't know how to go about doing it. But this is what's going to chart like this wheel of fortune. This is what's connected to it, the communication that you that you bring because I feel like right like right now you're in the five of cups you're regretting some things you're regretting not bringing this this new beginning forward sooner you're reg you're regretting uh either not uh pursuing this opportunity when it first came and now this person this this person who's dependent she's like a queen of pinnacle she was your balance you know it or this energy or whoever this person was, your person was is stable. Your person or you could yeah, it was some secrets. It could have been some secrets about you had another person that was more stable, could have been. But I think you're afraid. You're kind of afraid for what you don't know what what's gonna go next, or in the past you could have been hurt in the past, and this could be something that you're about to communicate. And at the bottom of the deck, Aries, is the Justice card. So whatever was wrong, if you wronged your person, Aries, you are gonna try to make it right because that's just who Aries are. Y'all are just some sweetie pies, you know. Yeah, y'all got y'all ways. Look, you know what I'm saying? But no, everybody, hey. What can I say? Okay, spirit, angels of the most high. What is this moon? I want to clarify a few things. What is this moon, spirit? What is this moon? Toil and labor. So I feel like the secret was per. It could have been uh, your work. You probably felt like, uh, or your person probably felt like their work was kind of, it, what if their work was inadequate? Was that? Were you being shallow, Aries? 
Right, it's something hidden of what did they really do for work. It's like it, it, it it's like you were in in waiting because you didn't know what your person really did for work. I'm getting that, and it was like, but now you want a new beginning, and that's something else that's hidden from your person. Aries is that you really want a new beginning with them. Spirit, what is this uh, Eight of Wands? This message of traveling. Okay. Courthouse. Courthouse usually has something to do. Like if somebody feel like they have to. Uh, like if somebody was married. You know they probably could be going to the house. And it's 23 so that's a 5. That's change. So change is taking place. Maybe somebody has to move out of the house. Maybe somebody is going through a, a custody battle. Or it could be uh, some type of, um, could be like paperwork for a house or something. Because if your person is getting separated or just got, came through a breakup. So it's like they're just probably mentally trying to get things um, collected. And in this communication that's coming through, is communication coming through is probably just, your person could tell you that they're getting a divorce or their divorce is final. Also, if the communication can be areas that either you or your person is trying to tell you, hey, I want to date you. It's like, this is, let, let's really be something. Oh, okay, Aries. Okay. So you, okay. So this communication is coming in, Aries. This is on you. You trying to travel with somebody, so you trying to level up the relationship. You trying to be with, and it's perfectly understandable because if you're the emperor and you're the king of swords, and this person is clearly not a pinnacle, self sufficient, and a queen of pinnacle, that means stable, um, financially stable, or at least appears that way in your eyes. And it's like, yeah, because you don't want to regret not taking this des this um this destined horizon. You don't want to regret not taking this new beginning. And I feel like in the past, which is a five right here, in, in, in the past where you probably acted immature, you are right now, now you're acting as a mature man because you know it's like your feelings matured for this person. And with the privileged lady, it's like you want to provide for her. Or for him or whatever you want to either provide your love or provide something but you feel you have something to provide I am going to use because I just got my uh, six magic cards so this is only for the adults in the room only the adults okay spirit angels of the most high what is the outcome for Aries no 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 how does an uh, Aries person view them sexually? Oh, golly, Aries. You got to have all these cards. Okay, I'm going to take the first two cards that I see, which the first one is the King of Pentacles. So, <laughs> the first one is the King of Pentacles. To me, I feel like your person feels that you are uh, you are a boss. They feel like you are stable, and I feel like that's the, that's a reason Aries. Um, if they're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, and also the Nine of Pentacles, who who is depicted as a single woman that is maintaining her own, or uh, it could be a he. This is energy, so don't take it first. But you know, uh, I feel like like your person sees you as somebody who is stable. Somebody that can actually handle uh, their maturity, can handle money like they can. They want somebody they could build with, and they see you as this very powerful person that will be able to build with them. Because if this person is in this energy, it's like if this person has went through some things, you know, the nine of pinnacle, uh, with the queen of pinnacle right here, it shows, this is, this is a, a, a single energy that has been stable alone, one deep. And with that, I feel like that would be one of uh, your person's concern is if they can relax around you, basically. Like, it's like, am I going to babysit or am I going to actually have help? And that's how they see you. And also, we have the Ten of Pentacles. What the heck, yo? 
your person. Let me put the rest of these cards up. I don't know what's going on. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles within itself is being financially abundant, meaning the happy life, happy wife, nice cars. Like the, you, you both like nice things. You both are about your coins. Like we have coins, coins. Your person is about to be breaded up if they are not breaded up, Aries, because they their energy is the nine of pentacles. Then their energy is the queen of pentacles. Then their in, energy is the privileged lady. These are people and indications and energy of someone that is well maintained someone that gets their coins abundantly or they are about to run into their coins very 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 soon i'm just saying uh and that could be something else that's hidden from you anyway but with the ten of pentacles which is just absolutely crazy on the abundance and this is their energy for you aries your person is abundant this person could uh, pretty much, I think this person wants you to taste them. I don't know. I'm just saying with the, with the card depicted. Remember, this is only for the adults. These are for, this is an adult reading. So with that, it's like the, I know I've left it anyway, but it, it's like there, she wants the, your person wants you to enjoy them, enjoy their presence, enjoy their company enjoy what they truly bring to whatever this connection could be but yeah aries so it looks like you got somebody in your radar that you um had a change of heart about and uh it looks beautiful it really does uh let me get a few thoughts of your person and then i'm gonna let you guys go Spirit angels of the most high give me messages of love and light from Aries person. Their thoughts. Life partner. So your person feels that you guys are life partners. You guys are somebody that they feel they can work with and build with. Even if uh, life partners, it reminds me like even if things don't uh, work out right they feel like you are somebody that could be in their life for a very long time especially with your understanding then it said ain't nobody coming to see you Otis so your your, your person could feel like maybe how y'all left off or if they tried to reach out in the past and you kind of still ghosted them with this king of swords or cut them off in the past I feel like they feel that if your communication is going to come through it's going to have to come through from you because they are not going Going to continue to reach out because they are learning self-worth and then you have I visit you in my dreams so I feel like your person dreams about you your person um, could be trying to manifest you uh, and it has I should I should have been more honest with you so maybe you or your person should have been more honest about your feelings on how you really felt when whatever went down like it went down all right Aries remember uh messages of love and light I love you love yourself if you want any type of information look in the description below Mwah.